Hello and welcome back to the Sampan model here. Uh, we're going to be jumping straight in and doing the UVs today, or making a start on the UVs. It is quite a monumental task, to be honest, and it's not a very forgiving task or even a pleasurable one. So we're going to just try and uh, get through this stage as quickly as we can and with as little heartache as we can. So what I've done in the meantime, I just cleaned up the item tree here. If you remember before, we had a, a mesh layer called rudder and one called uh, anchor. And then we have the hull and the sails. Basically, I just deleted the rudder layer and I've deleted the anchor layer. And I've just copied the uh, sails uh, geometry into the hull layer and just renamed hull to sampan. Uh, the other thing I did, actually, I can't stop playing with this, is I deleted the polys at the back of the hull there and the ones in the top and just basically sorted out all these polys, added some new polys in just to sort of block that out. Just so when we're moving in game see the rudder before was just going through the geometry at least now when this sort of rotates based on this pivot point here this is going to be able to swing nicely uh, and that's going to look really cool in game okay so for this first UV part we're going to just look at the anchor so I'm going to go to polygons basically and uh, I'm just going to select all the bits that uh, make up this anchor for now and I'm just going to do shift and H basically just to hide hide all the rest just to give us more of an idea of what we're working on uh, if you go over to your UV maps pull down there within the lists you've probably got a few in there or at least one called texture which is uh, an automatically generated one when you actually start creating geometry so just delete that just right click on it and hit delete and we're going to just create a new one and I'm just going to call this uh, Sampan UVs just for now. Uh, we're going to be going over in the UV tab. So click on your UV tab there, and this pane is broken up into two now. Uh, you'll see the UV sort of space over here, 0 to 1. And if you can imagine a texture, when you load a texture into your object, basically sits between 0 and 1. So all our polygon data we sort of bring over here uh, needs to be ultimately within 0 and 1 but that's not to say you need to work within 0 to 1 you can have polygons all round in which we will do uh, and then bring them all together at the end and uh, this is your same model view as before same type of uh, tools as the normal model tab so basically today there's a few different ways of doing this to be honest if I wasn't on camera and I wasn't doing this as a tutorial this is such a small object and in game it's probably going to look like that but that sort of size you're not going to see pretty much anything on this model I would probably just go over to uh, projection tools atlas click in the viewport done uh, the only thing I'll then do is basically just sort out these overlapping polys just by just sort of basically splitting them off uh, if you select the ones which are on top and just hit W key to move and select the tear off you can then just uh, let's just do that you can just sort of basically just just move them off. Anything you do in here isn't going to change any of your actual model geometry uh, over here so you can play around in the UV uh, space to your heart's content pretty much. So like I said if I wasn't on camera I would probably just basically bomb around and do this because uh, you're not really going to see it and then just hit the pack UVs just to sort of bring it all back in uh, I then would basically just lasso round it and then just move them out of the way and then start working on the rudder. Uh, like I said, that's fine for objects where you're not really going to see any detail on seams on them anyway. But I will just show you the, uh, and we will be doing this method for quite a few parts of this sand pan just to speed up the process and save uh, yours, but more importantly, my sanity. So that's one way of doing it anyway. Another way is to uh, actually create the seams yourself and that's what I'm going to quickly do now for this part and this is a labour intensive uh, technique uh, this is the proper way you should do them uh, but you've, you've got to bear in mind like, what I've said about the size of the model and to be honest it's going to take me five minutes now to split this up if not ten minutes and a model could take you an hour to split up and in game the difference between this me splitting up and the atlas technique is not even going to be noticeable so 
but just bear that in mind when you're doing these. You know, don't you know, don't break your back over this. Um, okay, so we're going to try and split this up ourselves. So I'm just going to select all these here, and just we're just going to delete these off. <laughs> yeah, don't delete them. In there, Sam Pam UVs. Okay, so we've got a clean slate. Now, the way to do this is to imagine this is made of paper. I think that's the best way I can describe it. And you know yourself when you've got a paper cube, if you've got a flat piece of A4 paper and you want to make a cube, you basically you know where to cut to basically then to be able to fold that shape around to make that cube and this is like a reverse process of that so in this case we've got our cube and we need to know basically where we cut so therefore we can lay it on a piece of flat paper and then we can see uh, the result so to speak so at the moment it's in, it's in a work so it's, it's a bad trouble here so we need to go over to edges and basically I'm just pretending now I've got some scissors and I'm cutting so basically I'm going to cut this bottom off first like that and then basically now when I hit the unwrap tool that section will be split I'll just do that and just to show you okay ignore all this lineage and all this problem here and there's our little square uh, the problem is this piece in the middle here is uh, this hole in here so this is trying to squeeze all this into there so that's not that good either so what we can do we'll turn off the unwrap tool and uh, you can play about and unwrap it as many times as you want you're not gonna cause any problems so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm just gonna make a cut there and a little cut there a little cut there and a little one there and then I'm gonna cut that so now now when I unwrap it we're gonna have this piece here and then we're going to have this square with these little fins, if you can imagine that, coming off. Okay, so this is that square there, and this is that poly there is the one at the bottom here, and these are the fins coming off. So you can imagine you can lift these parts up, and you can actually make that object, this sort of inner piece, just by folding along these white lines, if you can imagine that. Okay. So that was that was the easy part. Uh, another easy part is the, are these nuts. I'm just gonna cut along these edges, and this is the same. You can use the control key if you select edges you don't want to unselect them, and the shift key to obviously add to your selection. So we're, we're bomb wrong here. And now, if you can imagine this piece, we're going to see that square with these fins coming off. So where's that? There it is there. Now it doesn't always do a cracking job of it. So we have to we'll have to do a little bit of a tweaking at the end. Uh, so we're gonna do the same over here with this this one here. And this is when it starts to get a bit messy when you've got lines everywhere okay so the next one we'll do we'll just do these nuts up here then we can say the nuts are done you can see the difference in time between you hitting just atlas projection and you know doing all this Another thing you can do when you're actually building the model is just UV the nut, like the first nut when you get when you're actually modeling it. Then when you're copying and pasting it, then you can use the same U, sort of UVs, and that'll save you doing each nut. But we, I want to do a an ambient occlusion pass on this, so I want all my nuts separate, so to speak. So I'm just gonna. So there's a uh, my other nuts there, aren't it? And basically, the more you do, and the more you get round it, the less sort of uh, this sort of mess you get. But the red is a good indication that there's a there's an issue. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is this uh, 
piece here. Now, another thing to note is when you when you put your seams in these cuts, you really want to try and get them where you can't actually see them in game. So the anchors are going to be pretty much like this. So I'm going to put my seam on the back end. So that will basically divide that up there. Now, let's think about this. So I cut that there and there. Maybe that one as well. Let's just see if that bit's coming off. That piece is coming off. That's basically these four sides with these two end bits bolted on the end there. Now we're getting to the the problem bit. So this big piece I'll divide off this this little piece next. Now there's an edge underneath that poly there, so I'm going to go over to wireframe and just try and uh, not select anything that I shouldn't be selecting. See, it's not a straightforward task in any sense of the imagination, and it is a lot of trial and error at times. Now, I'm not sure if I need that one off or not, so we'll we'll leave it for now. Let's go back over to this bomb up here. Yeah, if I can, I'm just trying. I'm thinking out loud. So if I'm rabbiting or sort of chuntering along, you'll know it's. Oh, hit Control Z if you uh, accidentally double click on something. I might be able to just. Select up here. Let's just see what this brought us. Okay, so we'll go along the bottom now. You can use the up arrows if you think it's going to know where you're going. So it's going to split this up here. I'm going to take these off for now. Right, so it's getting we're getting there. We we're now sort of getting there. I want to just 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 do a little test. I'm just going to cut this. I'm just going to see if it makes a better. So I've got it into two pieces. Is it going to be better for me in two pieces? So this is going to be metal work. Now I do really want these just so the metal runs. Correctly. But like I said before, it's, it's going to be so small, we're not really going to 
probably take that one off there as well. What have I got this side? Actually, I could take this off and that will cut this bottom piece off because that's going to be underneath the camera anyway, so we're not going to see that. Let's just have a look at that. See, that's a better. That's better, basically. This, these polys along the top there, are these pieces there, and then these pieces are just sort of basically stuck on each side. So then, when I wrap the sort of metal texture on there, it will, it will wrap nicely over these uh, seams. You won't get a line along there. Okay. So that is basically. There's a slight problem here. Which I'm not sure why. So I'll just. If you're worried about losing all this work you've just done, a good thing to do now is now I've got it so it's, it's correct. That's just this little problem up here I want to sort out. I'm going to go over to select and just do assign selection set. And I'm just going to make one called UV lines. And basically now that'll re remember all those lines I've made. So I'm going to come over here and just see what nut that is. It's this one over this side here. So it could be that I haven't gone all the way somewhere. That's, that's here. Look, I haven't selected this edge here. So we'll just we'll just go in and select that, and then we'll just unwrap it again, and that'll uh, that'll fix that problem. So basically, that's my anchor. Uh, done. I'm not sure what time we're up to, but obviously it's a lot longer than just uh, doing the unwrap tool. Now we just we're just going to pop around here now and have a look. There's a little problem there, so I'm just going to select that little piece just to see where it is in the model. And that's just uh, there's going to be an issue with one of these polys. That's that there. That's just basically because that poly. That's just a badly formed uh, bit of mesh there, basically. So I'm not really going to spend any additional time fixing this because we've been on this a long time. So what I'm going to do, just for ease, I'm just going to gradually grab those points. So you're going to get a slight bit of distortion now because we're we're moving them, but nothing to write home about because such a small. I'm just going to basically just move those just to try and keep it in the right sort of shape just so I don't get too much distortion. But I'm just going to move them so they don't overlap for now. Then we won't get an issue then when we do the uh, ambient occlusion. Okay, so there's our, there's basically our parts. Now, Another thing you can do here is just look at your model and see the sort of shape of it. It's, if you look at it from here, which is basically this big piece, this big piece here, obviously ours is pretty square. You know, there's no none of this bending going on in our model. Ours is basically a s straight line. So this one's all right. That's so what you can do. You can just select this. But I don't want it diagonally like that. That's just going to take up too much... Uh, room in my UV so I'm just going to hit orient pieces and just orientate that just in one way then we'll look at this piece here now this is the wood and there's this piece here so I'm just going to I'm just going to rotate these around just to keep them nice and square. We'll just move out of the way for now just so I know which ones I've done. Uh, Okay, so I've got all these nuts. 
The good thing about unwrapping it is it keeps the size of these nuts obviously smaller than those. You know, it keeps everything in proportion. Now this piece, this is this top section here. I'm not worried about materials or nothing as you've noticed this time. What, what is wood and what is metal and we'll come to that in a wee while. Now we're going to just straighten this up. Now yet again if I was off camera I would just leave that. Uh, there's a bit of obviously there's going to be a bit of distortion here but what you can do is use these tools here just to basically straighten all this out like you can select these edges and then sort of level them off If you do more than one go, just sort of uh, just so when you wrap the texture on, and basically, if you don't know which way you're going, either to the left or to the right, basically look at where the biggest and the lowest points are. So, if you're doing this one to the left, if you look at this line, the most left point is this, so that'll basically snap the line to there, or if you went the other way, the basically the point is there, so that'll take it that way. So you can't do more than one run at a time. Like I couldn't do that one and that one. If not, that would move both lines onto the one point. But like I say, this is such a small object. I wouldn't uh, go to this effort uh, if it weren't for the fact that we're doing a tutorial on UV. -ing. Now, these parts here, I'm just going to... I'm just going to select along hit this this sort of run sausage fingers use the up arrow it doesn't really know what I'm doing here so that's, we'll just unselect those and uh, we'll go to the top and I'll select two and then just do up arrow that's not going to know there so we don't need them and uh, I'll do bottom. Okay. Okay, so that's that piece done. So you can see it is a lot neater now, and it it's all down, like I said before, it's down to how much time you've got for these little final niceties, and whether you're going to get any sort of gain. In my opinion, there's going to be people screaming at the screen and saying, "No, you've got you've got to do these things." Um, but obviously you won't notice it in game so uh, I'll leave it up to you so uh, I'm just going to straighten this one up as well and that's the anchor done so uh, when we come back in the next part we'll uh, look at the rudder so bye for now